He is known for his opposition to the dominant philosophy of Hegel in Berlin. He is recognized for his work in pure philosophy, studying English writers and the German modifiers of Kantianism. He is Friedrich Eduard Benek. Friedrich Eduard Benek, a prominent figure in the world of philosophy, was born in Berlin. As a young man, he embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration, immersing himself in theological studies under the guidance of esteemed philosophers such as Schleiermacher and De Wet. However, it was in the realm of pure philosophy where Benek truly found his calling. Driven by a thirst for knowledge, Benek delved into the works of English writers and examined the perspectives of influential German philosophers who modified the Kantian ideology. His profound opposition to the dominant Hegelian philosophy in Berlin became evident through his meticulous writings. In fact, his short track titled Neue Grundelgang zur Metaphysik challenged the status quo, setting the stage for his future lectures as a privatdozent. However, Benek's intellectual journey faced obstacles as his lectures were prohibited in Berlin due to Hegel's influence with the Prussian authorities. Undeterred, he sought refuge in Göttingen, where he continued to impart his knowledge to eager minds. Eventually, he was able to return to Berlin, receiving a prestigious appointment as a professor extraordinarius at the university, a position he held until his untimely death. Tragically, on the 1st of March in 1854, Benek vanished without a trace, leaving behind speculation of his mental state. It was not until more than two years later that his remains were discovered in the canal near Charlottenburg. The circumstances surrounding his death raised suspicions of suicide, possibly resulting from a profound bout of melancholy. Through his life and works, Friedrich Eduard Benek played a pivotal role in challenging prevailing philosophies, particularly Hegelianism, and carving a unique niche in the philosophical landscape. His legacy as a maverick thinker continues to captivate and inspire modern-day scholars, cementing his place as an important intellectual figure in history. Friedrich Eduard Benek, a pioneering philosopher in the field of psychology, believed that the key to understanding the basis of all philosophy lies in empirical psychology. He firmly maintained that the mind is a progression from simple elements and that the first problem of philosophy is to determine these elements and the processes by which they develop. His philosophy centered around the genetic method, a rigorous approach to studying mental phenomena. According to Benek, the mind begins with no innate ideas or formed products. He posited that definite faculties do not initially exist, yet our minds still possess a definite content and specific modes of action. Benek dogmatically stated his scientifically verifiable hypotheses about the primitive condition of the soul and the laws governing its development. He believed that the soul is comprised of an immense variety of powers or forces, which differ in tenacity, vivacity, receptivity, and grouping. These primitive immaterial forces form a unified being and acquire form through the influence of external stimuli. The genesis of the completed mind involves the action of external impressions being appropriated by internal powers. When the union between stimulus and faculty is strong enough, consciousness arises, and sensations and perceptions are formed. Benek argued that these primitive sensations should not be confused with the special senses, as each sense is a system of multiple powers that have been shaped by experience. Forming new powers occurs primarily during sleep, while weak combinations of stimulus and power lead to movable elements flowing over from one already formed psychical product to another. Benek's psychology revolves around the concepts of traces and movable elements. Traces are formed when a faculty does not cease to exist upon the removal of its stimulus. With their fundamental property of tenacity, traces sink back into unconsciousness and may be recalled by the application of another stimulus or the attraction of movable elements or newly formed original powers. Reproduction and association are explained through these traces and the flow of movable elements, highlighting their importance in Benek's psychology. He also emphasized the attraction of similar forms, which increases as their similarity grows, leading to closer combinations. In Benek's philosophy, all psychical phenomena can be understood through the relationship between impression and power, as well as the flow of movable elements. The entire process of mental development is the result of the action and interaction of these simple laws. Concepts, judgments, reasoning, and even memory are not seen as separate faculties, but rather as manifestations of the fundamental principles Benek proposed. His philosophy drew inspiration from the association psychology of British thinkers, seamlessly integrating their results and processes into a comprehensive system. Friedrich Eduard Benek, a renowned philosopher of the 19th century, had a significant influence on several German writers, notably Friedrich Juberweg and Karl Fortlich. While they may not have been professed followers of Benek, his ideas and philosophy left a lasting impression on their works. Across the English Channel, only one writer, J. D. Morel, demonstrated familiarity with Benek's ideas. However, it was within Benek's own school of thought that his impact was most prominent. 
Among the most eminent members of this school were Johann Gottlieb Dressler, Fried, Friedrich Ditz, and Charles Gottlieb Rau. Their contributions and understanding of Benick's philosophy were invaluable. In fact, Rau's comprehensive compendium on the subject went through four successful editions in Germany, and it has even been translated into several languages, including French, Flemish, and English. The English translation, titled Elements of Psychology, provides a concise and clear overview of Benick's entire system. Benick's philosophy encompasses a wide range of topics, but his focus on psychology and its relation to human existence stands out. His approach offers a unique perspective on understanding the complexities of the human mind and its impact on daily life. Benick's emphasis on self-reflection and introspection can be particularly helpful for individuals seeking to navigate the challenges of their own thoughts, emotions, and actions. By examining the nuances of the self and diving deep into the psyche, Benick's philosophy encourages individuals to confront and understand their inner workings. This self-awareness allows for personal growth, and the ability to make conscious choices based on a deeper understanding of oneself. Benick's philosophy reminds us that self-reflection is essential in order to live a meaningful and fulfilling life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.